Okay, so if you're like me, you've tried out tons of different daily planning, productivity, to-do list, apps around the internet, and you're looking for the perfect one. Look no further. Seriously, Sunsama is the best one I have found of all time. I will be using this for years to come unless something else comes out that's better, but I've tried a lot of the competition. No one comes close. So check the link in the description. You'll get a free 30 day free trial. If you sign up on their website, normally you get a 14 day free trial. So 30 days on me. Today I'm going to dive into just how I use it and why I think it's the best out there. But link in the description, check it out. It would help the channel as well. But no, not kidding. This is the best that I have found out there on the market today. Let's dive into why. So just starting out here, I am on what is called the planning screen. If you hit the keyboard shortcut P, you get this screen. It also is what pops up every day when you log in. You're able to look at your calendar events, which live on your calendar, and you can pull them into your tasks list for today, or really none of these I need to put on here, so I would click next. You're able to now see your today set of tasks, tomorrow and next week. And in this area, it says, what can wait? The idea is to focus on the most important things each day. So if there's anything like I don't need to get done today, I could move to tomorrow or to next week. I've actually already gone through and done this with my plans for today. And I've locked in all this stuff, but it's as easy as dragging and dropping and it will actually set the day that it's on your calendar. Well, not on your calendar, but in your to-do list. It also over here on the left side shows you predicted workload, right? So each one of these, it will sort of use, I guess, AI magic to tell you this little area right here, how long it thinks it's going to take. You can obviously adjust this as well, but after each task has an amount of time associated with it, it will show you what your total workload for the day looks like. It will show you your earliest time to shut down work for the day, and I have my preferred shutdown time as well. If I were to come in here, you can see today is about at two hours and 30 minutes. That's not quite accurate. So if I were to say, you know, setting up my optimization meeting with Vicky is gonna take 30 minutes, you can see that it's going to increase that time there. And if I say that maybe this is going to take six hours, you can see it's, you know, it's way over. It's given me this little yellow light saying, you know, today's gonna to take eight hours and 30 minutes. Let's say this is going to take, let's try a different one. Inbox zero would take me six hours. Now we're getting in the red here. It's, you know, the earliest I could shut down for the day is 2.25 a.m. So therefore it says caution, unrealistic workload, try not to plan more than eight hours of work per day. I can defer some of this work to tomorrow. All right, so much more manageable. And again, you can just click these or throw it over to next week. So my day looks pretty good here. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Finalize your plan for the day. So something you can do here, which is what one of the aspects of this app that I love probably the most is the automatic scheduling. So I can of course take this inbox zero, which I'm actually gonna say is gonna take probably 30 minutes. And I can come over here and drop it on the calendar wherever I want. Another thing I could do is I could put it on the calendar again so I could put it down here as well if I know that I need two of those 30 minute sessions to get it done. Another thing you can do though is if you just have your tasks and you want Sunsama to kind of do the work for scheduling for you, you can actually hover over the task you want and click X and it is gonna fill in your day in sort of chronological order, but you'll find too, it will kind of use AI and things you've done in the past to adjust those different times as well. Or if a task say is gonna take four hours and you have two two hour blocks in the day and you click X, it'll actually split that task up to fill those four hours into those two hour chunks those two two hour chunks. So that's one of my favorite features. Once I have all of my tasks down for the day, I'll literally just go through and hit X on all of them. Let Sansama kind of suggest what my schedule should look like for the day and adjust accordingly if I need to. But that gets a lot of things done that really helps me to get focused personally on my workload. I think it's easy to look at a long task list and be like, well, I guess I'll just start now and work until I have a meeting come up. But I think actually putting them on the calendar allows you to feel structured, almost like you have your own personal assistant that is making sure you're getting done the most valuable work 
first. So I love that feature about Sensama. And something I'll note too, say I you know, think Inbox Zero is gonna take me 30 minutes, when it only takes me 15 minutes, it feels so good to check this off the list, which I'll get to in a second. And now I have 15 minutes. Now, Sunsama can then push all your other tasks back, which I've seen that happen before too. I've planned like 20 minutes for something. I'm like, oh, that only took five. Sunsama will then rearrange your tasks so you can get right into the next task. Or if there's just a little bit of time left, I'll usually take that to take a walk around the parking lot, go get a coffee, something like that, because I've now opened up time in my day. You can add your shutdown time. I'm gonna add it to 345, which is right here, since I'm a shutdown. Looks good for the day. Now, this is pretty cool too, especially if you work with teams or if you have a boss who kind of wants to know what you're up to. I can share this now, either on Teams with Microsoft or Slack, or I can just copy and paste it into an email and really just show, hey, this is what I have planned my workload for today, and this is what I'm thinking it will probably take me to do that. And here are maybe some obstacles in what I'm seeing. Maybe I need some answers from creative team, or maybe I need an email reply from this person. I'm not gonna be able to do these tasks unless I have those things. So noting those as well. And then finally, get started. This is sort of the default look for Sansama. I will say the phone app is really well done because they don't try to fit all of this into the phone app. In a way, it's all on there, but they really have just the day view. It's a great place to just drop in tasks so that when you get back to your computer, you can then sort of figure out more of the in-depth stuff. Functionality-wise, it's all in the phone app. I'm not saying you can't just use the phone app, but it, I think this definitely shines best on desktop. But like I said, this is how it's laid out. You have your month up here. The blue highlighted is what we're looking at currently. I have my calendar over here to the right. And then I have my channels, which is basically, you know, how I would sort my tasks into my five priorities in my life, which are faith, family, social work, personal. And as I come through, let's say tomorrow, I want to call Sam. I really love how you can just type that. I also love one of the biggest things I look for in an app like this is to just have all keyboard shortcuts as you're making tasks. Because if I have to now go over here and say, click with my mouse and then say social and then come back here and add a time, that clicking and typing in the in-between, it might sound like a small problem, but for me to be able to say, call Sam, hashtag family at, you know, 2 p.m., you know, or like at tomorrow, like being able to do all that on the keyboard allows you to work super quickly when adding tasks to your to-do list. And there's not this like type, 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 pause, click, 15 minutes, click, faith. Like you can do it all from the keyboard with the keyboard sh shortcuts, hit enter. It's on there, it's ready to go. I can then click X, which this is for tomorrow. So let's look at tomorrow. It drops it at 9 a.m., which is actually a great time to give Sam a call. So just the quickness is something I really love. Again, being able to do everything on the keyboard is huge. I've tried like Todoist. I used Todoist for a long time. I've tried Tick Tick. There's a lot of features in these different apps that are really great in and of themselves, but putting them all together into one app is fantastic. And I think this app sort of shines with all of those features that I look for and might be on Todoist, but not on Tick Tick, or might be on Tick Tick, but not Todoist. And I'm not about to have 10 different to do apps running at a time. So, say today is done, I'm gonna hit O, and I'm gonna look at today in review. Okay, so I worked for 30 minutes. This else is not accurate, of course. You can see how that time was split up with what I worked on and then what I didn't get to, right? And then I can click next. I can wrap it up, I can send this to my superior or just have it as a note for me. I can also, you know, it, it'll show like this little ticker here too. Another feature of this app, you can actually time tasks to actually get the exact time it took you to do them. I don't much use that, I feel like spending the time to start that takes a little while, but I will talk about Pomodoro timers and stuff as well here in a second. So you can click wrap up and it says I'm done for the day gives you a little quote, which is nice. 
But coming back here, some other things you can do. So say I want to hit T on the keyboard gives me just what does today look like? Not worried about tomorrow, not worried about what I did yesterday. Here is my, you know, calendar next to my tasks, a very focused way of looking at this. Another thing we could do is look at the calendar instead of the tasks and see everything that's been done there, which then puts the tasks over here. So the calendar view versus the tasks view. Something else that I'll do, like let's say sending this media plan, right? So I can come in here, I can, here's my plan time, here's my actual time. I can hit the plus button, which gets me into this focus mode. You can either just time yourself doing this one specific task or my favorite Pomodoro method, 25 minutes of work, five minute break, 25 minutes of work, five minute break. And you can literally live and work within a task for that time until it's done. Hit that check icon to show that you have done it. This thing kind of floats around too, which is nice. And you know, you can check it off, you can hide that or you can stop it as well, which is nice. That's another feature that I think they've added recently is if you put your mouse over here to the side, you actually can get a peep of what the day looks like. If you need to be like, oh, do I have any? Oh, I do have a meeting coming up, right? So just being able to check that without getting out of the focus mode is a nice little peep feature. And I do like that. So let's say cancel. Let's go ahead and hit also close pops up, right? So we can close that, exit out. That's a nice, really good way of, you know, you see all these tasks, it can be overwhelming, but if you have say time boxed time where I'm going to work for an hour on a project and I'm not going to look up until I do, those focus modes are great for that. And you saw you can add subtasks within those tasks. It's a really good way of taking everything that's going on, getting you focused so that you can work on that specific thing until it's done, then move on to the next thing, which I love that as well. And I love that they've added the Pomodoro timer. It's one of my favorite ways of time boxing and working on things basically until they're done, which is uh, kind of just how my mind works. So that, that really does it. I'll say too, over here on the sidebar, they do have different kind of widgets. You have these weekly objectives, which when you set up your week, which every Monday morning, it, it opens up sort of a similar thing to the day start but it also gives you an option for these weekly objectives. So I really, you know, I have a lot going on at work this week. I wanna make sure I'm focusing on the family. I wanna make sure I get all three proposals out that I need to do. I wanted to create that sales pipeline, which I've already done, figure out my YouTube shorts plan with my pal Ben Farmer. Hey, what up? Shout out to you, But So you have the weekly objectives as well, and you can actually work on those on each day as well, which is super cool. So I can, you know, pop that over and be like, let me make sure I focus on family today kind of thing, which is nice. So weekly objectives there, you can actually go to your backlog. If you don't get to tasks for a certain number of days, and you can turn this off by the way, cause it was a little scary to me. It'll actually put them in your backlog. Like obviously these tasks weren't super important. We've put them in the backlog. You can come back and pull them out whenever you want. This happens after a certain amount of time, I think. Oh, sorry, archive is where that happens. Backlog is a place where you can manually throw things into, I'll get to this at some point, back burner. Archive is what happens after four consecutive days of you not even touching that task, loud motorcycle. So that's kind of cool. Again, you can turn that on or off. You can actually even look at your um, email which is interesting from here. If you know, if you're someone who takes a lot of tasks or when you're looking at email, they give you tasks, you can click in here to email. You can even like click and drag emails into, <laughs> which is kind of wild into your to-do list. If that's sort of how you work, I don't condone using your email as a to-do list, but if that's just kind of a way you work, it's all right here and you don't have to have two windows open. So again, that's a fantastic feature as well. They have other widgets, which are kind of hidden behind the button that you probably can't see right here, which is my recording software. But there are other widgets and integrations you can add. I usually just keep the calendar open. I'll hop back and forth between this and that sometimes. I don't really use the mail feature. I just don't use my email in that way. But if you're someone that does, that's fantastic. So I wanna wrap up today's video with just some thoughts. There's more to this app that I haven't even gotten into, more functionality that they're adding. They even have a little section here that shows you the latest updates. They're continually working on this thing. 
which is fantastic. But I wanna talk about some little parts of why this shines. So obviously the functionality is fantastic, but some things that really have stuck out to me with Sansama that maybe these other apps don't have as well is one, it's designed really well. I think the functionality is there, the design is there. It's not clunky at all. It works smooth as butter. Like doing any kind of this action, like it all just works. And I think there's a lot of intentionality that they've put into this with, you know, even in the focus pages, how you can, you can get focused, you can peep over here and see what's coming up in your calendar. You can get, you know, you know they've just done a lot of things that I agree with when it comes to working productively in these ways. And this software works wonders for me and I've only had it for a little under a month and I already am in that phase of like, I can't go back to something else. I don't care how much they like charge me if pricing changes or something in the future where it's like a hundred bucks a month. Like this has already become a tool that has been so helpful and just works the way I need it to. And I can't recommend it enough, seriously. I love the design, I love the functionality, I love the phone app, how the functionality is there, but also I kind of just use it as like, my wife's like, hey, will you pick up toilet paper tomorrow at the grocery store? I can just throw it into the app, forget about it. And then the next day when I'm doing my daily planning, I see, oh yeah, I need to do that today. That sort of just being able to add tasks as sort of my inbox, my input on the phone app, and then later be able to go in and actually sit down at my desktop as I'm starting the day out and get those things done is fantastic as well. Really, that's kind of it. Honestly, I think I've shared everything I want to in this video. If you have any questions about anything, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And if I don't know the answer, I can reach out to Sinsama and get the answers for you. But I love this thing. Definitely just give it a try. You know, free 30 day trial with the link in the description. If you decide you don't like it, no harm, no foul. You're not paying for anything. So, but I think if you're like me, it'll only take a couple days for you to realize that they have done this well, they're continuing to do it well, and I'm excited to see where this company, where this app goes in the future. What a great tool, and I'm not joking. I feel like I'm being really salesy, but like I'm not joking. I'm just singing the praises of this because it fits into my workflow better than any other productivity kind of app like this I've used in the past. So, Sunsama, great job guys, seriously. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, check this one out. I think you're going to love it. Like this video, it helps us with the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.